This past week was a busy week for us in Toronto and Ottawa. The reason for our trip was for Hugh's annual visit with his liver specialist at Sick Kids Hospital, including his various tests, to see how well his liver is functioning. Great news is that Hugh is doing well. There are no foreseeable causes for concern, and there's a high chance he can get to early adulthood without needing a transplant. We were also able to combine a few other things into this trip. Luke had several meetings in Toronto, and I attended an important conference in Ottawa about the state of our cities. I was impressed with the incredible team I'm working alongside of, the Centre for Cities at U Windsor Law, took the train from Windsor to Ottawa, a commendable, more environmental choice. Our trip was also organized around the holidays and seeing family and friends. We had early Christmas celebrations to avoid multiple trips back and forth. <laughs> Not only did we have great meals of locally sourced and home prepared food, we spoke about environmental impacts and ways we are reducing our carbon footprint around the holidays, a time of year that is generally very carbon intensive. We made holiday crafts and used this opportunity to hand make slash upcycle gifts. We bought shirts from the thrift store that we then embroidered. This is my first time embroidering, not perfect, but tons of fun and the kids love their gifts especially those Swifties and Young Jedis. We made sure not to buy gift paper, but instead use scrap pieces of fabric to wrap the gifts that can be used again and again. Finally, we use this time with family and friends for sharing experiences and having fun. Our modes of transportation for this trip were via rail, public transit, and borrowed bicycles. We also used Uber Green only a couple of times when there was no other option available to us. How do you plan to lower your own carbon footprint this holiday season? Bye Toronto and Ottawa. Until next time, happy holidays.